It is their tax dollars that have, have allowed us to do this, and we want to give them that ability to, to see what their tax dollars are going for and to celebrate achieving a significant milestone in the organization. Fire Rescue Chief Michael Tucker is excited to introduce a new fire engine to Flagler County during a special ceremony this week. Karen Johnson reports. The ceremony is happening at Fire Station 71 in St. John's Park. The station, which had been a volunteer station, was reopened and rededicated by the county with full-time staff in 2014 to reduce response times in western Flagler County communities as well as the county's west side parks, such as the Bull Creek Campground. We've been working over the past couple of years trying to update, you know, some of our equipment in the fleet. You know, we've had an aging apparatus and we've been able to actually replace some of those units. And and this Friday, we're going to be able to place in service a replacement engine for the existing Engine 71, which protects, you know, the west side of Flagler County. Tucker says they'll be pushing in the brand new Engine 71. Well, for many years, you know, obviously fire engines were horse-drawn. And when communities would, would purchase a, a new, as they call it, pumper, you know, the community would come together and actually push it, you know, in to, back into the, the bay. Horses do not have reverse. But the community would actually push the, the fire engines back into the bay. So this is just a continuation of that. At the time of the 2014 rededication ceremony, the fire station was known as a key access point because of the area's remoteness. Tucker is hoping for a nice turnout from the community. We want to give the community that ability to come out and help us push the apparatus into the back into the base so it can be ready to respond for its first official call. The push-in ceremony will be held at 8.30 a.m. this Friday, May 17th at Fire Station 71. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. Good morning, Flagler County. I'm Rich Carroll. You're listening to Flagler's Morning News on Tuesday, May 14th. Palm Coast City Council has a meeting this morning at City Hall. Brittany Kershaw is the Director of Communications and Marketing. The workshop meeting begins at 9 a.m. and there will be four items on the agenda for this meeting. The first one will be an update on the Imagine 2050 comprehensive plan and staff will be able to go over the vision statement and the guiding principles that were developed through the community outreach events that were held over the last four months and reaching out to the community to see what they envision for the future of Palm Coast. Following that, city administration is going to provide an overview aimed at enhancing citizen interactions with the city of Palm Coast. Through feedback from our residents, we are working to improve our customer service and making sure that all of our city departments are aligned to deliver consistent and exceptional service when interacting with the public. Then the community development department will give an overview on many, many road construction projects that are currently underway and planned over the next three years throughout the city. And then finally, the human resources department is going to give a presentation on the city manager search. This was previously discussed at the April 9th workshop. And at that point, city council had requested additional information. So that's ready to be presented today. The team will go through the current options we have, which are going out to bid, for a request for proposal for a search firm or piggybacking on a contract with a neighboring municipality who is also going through the same process. As always, the public is invited to attend and participate during public comments. The meeting will also be streamed on YouTube. My name is Kim Carney, and I'm seeking election to Flagler County Commission District 3. We continue our look at the candidates running for District 3 of the Flagler County Board of Commissioners. I have been involved in Flagler County with many years of board membership from Rotary, Flagler Auditorium, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and the Chamber of Commerce. Kim Carney says her past experience serving on the Flagler Beach Commission for nine years also sets her up to be an effective county commissioner. I will fight to keep taxes low and cut wasteful spending and focus on our community projects that protect our homes and our quality of life. I also will work with and support smart, controlled growth to protect our residents from excessive development. And I will also support the county's effort to create a wildlife corridor. Carney says she'll govern as a conservative. I will continue to work for lower taxes, smaller government, fiscal responsibility, and public safety. Tomorrow we'll hear from District 3 candidate Bill Clark. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.